And that brings us to mistake number three, which is tangled logic for a simple derived state. For example, if you needed to have a full name based on two different observables, which you might already have in your services, you would have to use something called combine latest to basically look into if any of these dependencies change, which means first name changes or last name changes, the full name observable is updated. But in this case, also the template needs to work with the async pipe to work with this observable or to re-render when the value Value updates and while it works you are creating this complex stream just to concatenate two strings now a more modern and elegant solution is angular signals and using angular signals you can actually use computed which basically looks at other signals and if any of the dependent signals do change the computed gets called and then the template basically gets the new value now the beauty here is that unless any of these change the value in computed is cached which means that the computed function will not recalculate the values unless and until the signals change which means that it is cached by the default now this results in having an efficient declarative more readable code which is efficient by design and all of this comes out of the box from angular